I know each individual out here that is unhoused today want a place to call their own. They want their own damn door keys. Simple. They want to be able to go into their house and sit down in a warm, nice room, living room, maybe watch the TV or listen to the radio, wherever, wherever keep your boat afloat. But at the same time, they will take that money and use it for their own benefit. So it doesn't make no difference if a tax is just paid, guess what? We still gonna have this problem. Why? Because we have some greed, we have some lying, and we have some deceitful people in our, in our office uh, that we have voted in. They change it. They'll tell you all the good shit when, uh, up until they get uh, into the office. They'll tell you, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. And then all of a sudden, they get in office and they sell your ass down the, down the, down the creek without a pedal. Okay, you might not even have a boat. You might get be float. But either way it goes, we got to change the narrative. So at the same time, I'm gonna leave it like that. And I know this is not going, what I just said is not going to get air because it'll be on the floor. I hope it does so that the people in power will start to rethink what they are doing. All right, but today we are gathered here today because we are getting ready to go into this courthouse and uh, hopefully we can get some truth. We can get some truth in the matter about what is really going on and why. During this pandemic, everybody should be moving into a house. No one should be out here living in a tent. No one should be out here living in a damn shelter because when we got all these vacant apartments, vacant buildings that could be converted into housing for our unhoused neighbor. It's a lot of ways that you can do this thing. As I, as I once said, I can be your neighbor across the street. I can be your neighbor down the street. I can be your neighbor in front of you and back of you. But at the end of the day, I cannot be your neighbor in the same damn complex that you are living in. What is wrong with that? Something's wrong with that. So I'm just here to let you know that this shit got to change. And hopefully this is the first step in the, in the change. Well, actually this is the second step because the devil was, if the devil was honest with itself, it wouldn't be sweeping people at all considering after the first class action also. All right? So that's all I got to say for right now. And I'm going to bring up the first person. I'm going to bring up Nate, who is a plaintiff on this case. So Nate, here you go.